Hello, I'm Chris Griswold. This month we're talking about uh, water issues and water law, at least here in Oklahoma. Other states are similar, but Oklahoma breaks down like this. When we talk about water, we're talking about surface water and groundwater rights, two different things. Your surface water rights are uh, permit-driven, to be able to capture water, uh, water or, or runoff that, that's on your own property. You actually have to have a water use permit from the state of Oklahoma. Contrast that to groundwater rights, which are deed-driven. If you buy property, the deed comes comes with the actual groundwater rights unless they've been previously conser uh, reserved or conveyed to somebody else in another deed prior to you buying it. Uh, right now in, in, in the state of Oklahoma, you can still sever, uh, you can separately sell your groundwater rights uh, separate and apart from your other rights like your surface rights, your air rights, your wind rights to the property, your other mineral rights. But due to uh, a lot of your uh, western states like, like West Texas, Western Oklahoma, a lot of people out there are selling their groundwater rights separately from their property. There's a lot of thought and theory that that's going to negatively affect our, our agricultural industry. So the legislature, at least here in Oklahoma, might change that, this legislature, to make groundwater rights unseverable or inalienable from the rest of your real property. And that's an update on water law. Thanks.